Toro Z255, 27 horsepower Kohler. It's going through the list of things that I replaced. Two new hydraulic hoses feeding this right side wheel motor. So you had to make a repair on the transfer bar. That was that weld was broken. These these things have been removed and re-greased. They're back installed. Idler pulley brand new. Uh, the deck has been removed from the machine. I completely disassemble all the spindles and take the blades off obviously. Blades have a nice brand new hard to see but they're freshly sharpened. Let me lower the machine and I will give you some more information on what I've done. As it's coming down here this, this dry belt here for the deck is brand new so it'll be good for five or ten years at that one. But the engine, I completely take the engines out of the chassis. It makes it so much easier to clean things as well. This engine got a new carburetor, two new head gaskets, a new stator, a new voltage regulator. I like to install a tachometer slash hour meter. I don't know if you can see that with the reflection, but 0.7 hours on this oil change. Uh, this throttle cable is brand new all the way up to the front where, where it's controlled. That's all brand new. Uh, new, uh, where is it? Uh, wait, um, these are hydraulic dampeners for the steering. If those things are gone, you'll be so herky-jerky, it, it makes not running these fun at all. Otherwise, they are fun to run. But this one has the uh, greasable spindles that are really easy and user friendly. Just pump them up, five or ten pumps of grease, and it's good. And this deck is a very smooth running deck. I go through the, uh, the spindles and the axles on the front wheels too, those things. They just need it cleaned and re-greased. They were fine. Uh, other than that, everything on this thing is ready to go. It just needs a new owner. Brand I'll be going out to the road here in a couple of days. I'm going to cut my lawn with it, probably the neighbor's lawn. And I'll just basically run it like a rented mule to make sure nothing breaks. Because if it, nothing breaks, I know it's a good unit. I'm just a guy that likes to take these things apart and put them back together. It's just a hobby I got into on accident. Uh, thanks for watching.